and sickness will come and attack you. And poverty will come and attack you. Not until we possess the gates of the enemy. You know the enemy has all our things. The enemy has taken our wealth. The enemy has taken our things. Our property. The enemy has taken our blessings. Therefore, these are going to be series. Whenever I come on this radio, from today, the whole of December, and the whole of January, we need to possess the gates of the enemy. We have to, up to make them upside down so that we can take control of our things. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Possessing the gates of Yenem. From Genesis chapter 22. We are reading from verse 16. Now friends always have your Bible. Have your notebook. And then have a pen. When we talk about a notebook, we talk about a some people think about these big, big notebooks. Just get an exercise of, of 32, 38 pages. So that you can use it as your notebook. Not on the papers. Because the uh, wind will come and blow them away. But always have your exercise book. I have an exercise book. And then have your, your then have your pen. pen you. And then your Bible. The Bible you. Read. Osome. Write. Wandik. After this, you go and chew the card. Well, as you go and revise. Now, Genesis chapter 20, 23, we are beginning from verse 16. Mm. From verse 16 to verse 18. I will give you a little bit of water. I will give you a little bit of water. I will Omwana wo omu. Okukuwa omukisa. Na kuwanga omukisa. No kuongera. Na kuongera angake za derio. Nge mwenye nye ezo kumguru. Nga omsenyu okuli kutale yenyanja. Era eza derio. Valiria omuliango kwa vala vivabwe. Era. Moza derio. Omu. Ama wanga gona Agoku nsi Magali werua omokisa Kubango uli dedobo ziri ange Au Ibrahim Nagolo koka Nabafubu kabe Nabafubu kabe Nibagolo koka Nibagenda wana wamu Eberu seva Ibrahim Natulanga Mubelseva. Hallelujah. I've told you that these are going to be series. Mbakovye mti kunoku jakuba kusomesa okomi dringanwa. So we want to understand these verses first. Kale to enda kutegere nidi dino okusoka. If we don't understand the beginning, but tategera antandi kwa yato, then we shall not understand the end. Titu ida kutegera vina komerera. Genesis chapter. 
uh, 22 from verse 16. I have here different versions I'm going to use. For purposes of understanding what I'm going to talk about like two months ahead. New King James Version. New King James Version. Verse 16. And said, By myself I've shown. Says the Lord, because you have done this thing, and have not withheld your son, your only son. Now, I want you to understand when he says your only son. Remember, as we shall see in the Gospel of Saint John, chapter. 3 verse 16. Also has this uh, part of the of the verse. Your only son. The begotten son. Now that one is Jesus. But here is Isaac. Now the amplified Bible. Amplified Bible. Is also wonderful. And say. I have sown by myself. Says the Lord. That since you have done this and have not withheld for me all backgrounded giving me your son you are only son then the message bible this is even wonderful the bible is saying I swear I swear God's sure word. I swear God's sure word. Because you have gone through this. Because you have gone through with this. And have not refused to give me your son. You are dear son. You are dear and dear son. New translation is also wonderful. This is what the Lord says. Because you have obeyed. Because you have obeyed me. And I have not withheld. Even your beloved son. I swear by my own self that. NIV. NIV. And I said, na, na I swear by myself, declares the Lord, that because you have done this, and have not withheld your son, you are only a son. You see, this is wonderful. These translations are so good to explain what I'm going to share with you. In the the son is coming in ahead. Then listen to, to, to verse 17. New King James. New King James is very clear. New King James says, New King James Blessing, I will bless you. And multiplying, I will multiply your descendants. As the stars of of the heaven, and as the sun which is on the shore, on the seashore, and the sun, the descendants shall possess the gates of their enemies. Let me read the other version so that we can understand, friends. Amplified Bible. Amplified Bible. In blessing, I will bless you. And in multiplying, I will multiply your descendants. Like the stars of the heavens. And like the sun on the seashore. And you are seed. I want this best. And you are seed. All hair. 
will possess the gates of his enemies. This is beautiful. When they talk about your sin and your hairs, that they will possess the gates of his enemies. Then the, the NIV is also good. I will surely bless you and make you a descendants as numerous as the stars in the sky and as the sand on the seashore your descendants will take possession of the cities of their enemies for the time let us explain this now, now this is a wonderful bible text. Now it talks about Abraham's faith confirmed. Remember, Abraham had no child at all with his wife Sarah. But the angels brought good news for Abraham and Sarah and said, You will bear a son by the name of Isaac. It was like a dream. Now here the Bible is talking about the seed. Abraham was getting a seed. No, this is so beautiful. Isaac is born to Abraham. When Abraham and Isaac were like a hundred years without a child. But now now this is good news. The Bible is talking about the seed of Abraham and Sarah. The Bible says the seed of Abraham is going to possess the guests of the enemy. Listen to me. The seed, the seed of Abraham will take control of all the gates of the enemy. 